Hey, Wyatt, congratulations on being named a first-team All-American earlier today. Obviously, I, I know you guys have a lot of team goals, but I have to imagine that's one that uh, personally you take a lot of pride in. How would you grade your play this year? Do you think you, you played like a first-team All-American this year? Well, first of all, thank you. And, um, you know, yeah, I, I do believe, um, you know, and just as far as how this year went, I definitely feel like as the games went on, my, my play definitely has gotten better each week. Um, and I think just a lot of that has to do with the state of the state and, you know, not having spring ball, at least for me, that was my biggest takeaway was how important those reps are, especially with offensive line. You know, uh, with those first couple games, I felt like as a unit, as a whole, we weren't really able to really get our rhythm going until, you know, we played a couple more. And then after that now, I feel like it's, heading on an uphill uh, uphill route, especially with this last game. I think we definitely showed all the doubters that we had in the beginning of the season with running the ball that we definitely can, can run. So uh, I, I would say that, yeah, I, I do believe I, I deserve it. Um, but with that being said, at the same time, there's also a lot of stuff that I think that I can do a lot better. And uh, I'm looking to improve on that this Friday and the week after. Next up is Spencer Holbrook from Letterman Row. Why you guys are pretty confident unit up front anyways, but but when you, you have a guy go for 330 in a game and, and break a school record, how, how much confidence does that instill you guys going against probably the best front that you're about to face all year? Oh, man, it was huge. I mean, it, it got, I know, emotional for, for some of the guys, you know, after the game just because, you know, there, there's always talk each year. I mean, I feel like it's the same thing that we come across each year. After the first couple of games, you know, oh, we can't run the ball. We can't run the ball. Offensive line can't block. And just to really have a solid game where we were put in the position where we had to run the ball in order to win. Um, you know, the Northwestern did a great job offensively moving the ball um, in that first half. And, you know, they were doing a great job holding us and holding Justin um, from passing all over the place. So um, just really having that feeling of, of putting the team on our back and, you know, we said, hey, guys, this is why we came here. And, you know, we have a saying, it's always on us. Um, whether it's offensive line or defensive line, it's always on the line and who controls that line of scrimmage. And I feel like we did a great job uh, when the team needed us the most. Um, and obviously Trey was ele electric in the backfield. And I know that he was, he was really happy after that too because, you know, it's just been a, it's been a, a weird year. And, you know, he's had a weird time. Um, just as far as was at another school. Now he came in, you know, he's trying to figure out his role. And I think he definitely showed everyone, you know, what his role is on this team. And uh, he's an electric back. And um, I mean, there was a couple of times where it felt like, you know, we had JK back there with how he was taking off, but he is so explosive and he's a great running back. And I'm just happy we were able to get the job done for him. Next will be Bill Rabinowitz from the Columbus Dispatch. Yeah, Wyatt. Um... Do you sense any kind of difference in, in Justin this week coming off what by his standards was a subpar game? Do you sense an extra motivation, determination with him? Oh, yes, for sure. I mean, it's, it's not even just him, but him alone, yes. I mean, he, he's – you could just tell he has that look in his eye where he really wants to excel, and I, I believe that he is going to excel. I mean, he's one of the great leaders on this team. And uh, I back him 100%, but it's not only just him, it's everybody. I mean, we had a whole winter offseason program dedicated to this game. And clearly what we've seen all week, and I'm sure all of you have seen this week, we're going into this game not respected at all. So I, that has a lot of motivation as well. We'll go to Rod Walker from the New Orleans Advocate. Hey, well, I just wanted to ask you about um, obviously your granddad made his mark down here at Grambling and just, I want to ask you, you know, how special is it to be playing a game in the state where he started and just how proud would he be and just his influence on your life? Man, you know, as you asked that question, it, it gave me chills um, just thinking about it. You know, um, obviously having him um, in my life was, was huge and we were very close. He was like a second father to me. And, you know, I, I can only hope to achieve uh, what he's achieved both on and off the field. And, you know, hopefully I'm on that right path. And, you know, I think that he would be proud of me up to this point. I mean, especially with the decision I made coming back. And, you know, I, I had made some promises to him 
uh, this year that I, you know, that I would step up in a role as the leader. Now I would just play my heart out and put it all, all out on the field. And, you know, that's what I plan on doing Friday. And I know that he's going to be watching me from above as, as he has been this entire season. So, um, you know, it's, it's crazy because this is going to be my first time going down to New Orleans and, you know, I'm really excited and, you know, obviously I wish he could be here to see it. So. Do you still have family down here? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of family down there. I have family down there. I've never even met before, but uh, yes, I do. Next question will be Bill Landis with the athletic. Hey, well, um, this goes back to what you were talking about a couple of questions ago, but I think when the season began, a lot of people might have assumed that the sort of identity of this offense would be Justin throwing the ball a whole lot to, to Chris and Garrett. And, and I know that's happened, but going over 300 rushing yards the last few games, the way you all played against Northwestern, what do you, what do you feel like the identity is? Is it possible that, that you guys are more of a kind of physical up front, run the ball kind of team than maybe most people would anticipate coming in? Yes, uh, definitely. I mean, I, I feel like we have all the tools. Um, to be that, and I feel like we displayed that this last game and these last couple games, um, you know, going against great teams. Uh, Northwestern was a great team defensively, and I think prior to us playing them, they – it was very few yards that they gave up rushing. Um, as a matter of fact, if I'm not uh, mistaken, I believe that they were the number one rush defense in our conference this year. And to go against a team like that that's well coached, have great players and have big guys up in the middle – and to control the line of scrimmage, I felt like um, really showed what our true what our true identity is, and I feel like we showed the world what we've known this entire time. It, you know, and that's when we have the opportunity to run the ball, we can get it done, and uh, we have the running backs to do it, and we have the offensive line to do it. And then if we go into passing, we have the quarterback and receivers to do it as well. Next up is Ralph Russo from the Associated Press. Hey, why well, I'm wondering about this season beyond football and how hard it's been or how maybe at frustrating at times stressful. Just like what's life been like to get through all this? And maybe if there's anything in particular that you missed or that was again created a little extra stress in your life. Yeah, um, this is at least for me personally, this this whole year has just been one thing after another. You know, I mean um, you know, starting off with me, just going through that time period when I was away from the team, it just felt so weird, you know, to be put in that type of position. And then uh, coming back with the team, just all the uncertainty. And what, what stood out to me the most, which I find to be the hard thing, is just how one day you could practice and the next day you're out for a couple weeks because of COVID and just how rampant and easily it spreads. And, um, you know, I'm knocking on wood here, but, you know, fortunately enough, I've been blessed to not have to encounter uh, COVID up to this point. And, you know, I'm gonna keep that going, but it's just a day-to-day -day thing. I mean, and, guy, and, and holding guys to a standard that, you know, you can't go out and hang out with people. You can't uh, see your family. And for me, that's been the hardest for me because, you know, being from California, if it was a regular season, I only see my – I mean, they do a great job of coming out here, but, I mean, I only see them a couple times throughout the year, you know. So that, that was probably the toughest for me was uh, not being able to see my family a lot this year. 